So I built this workflow to um, assign auto task um, configuration items to their contact in Autotask. So um, there's an integration between data uh, RMM and Autotask where it'll pull the, the data over, but it won't actually assign that contact. So what we're doing is we're, gra we're grabbing all the configuration items in Autotask for data, and then we're outputting that in a list of items to check. And then we go ahead and we check the current auto test contacts to see if the current contact on that configuration item is the correct contact. If it's not, then we go ahead and put that in a list of items to check to actually change. And then we go ahead and we list all the PSA contacts for that organization. And then we go ahead and we match those contacts to the proper contact. And then we go ahead and we, we patch that configuration item to have the proper contact added onto it. So no more of that whole, uh, I just got a ticket and it has a contact on here, but I have no configuration item for that ticket. We would then be able to, you know, every time you get a ticket, you know that configuration is going to be on there. So you can always hit that little button on Autotask to pop open the RMM. And there you go, you have the device. There was a, a few caveats on this because um, the way we're matching it, the last user that was logged in and then masking off the username from the email address um, and that works for anybody who has the same email address as they have the username we know that's not how it always works so um, what we did here is we also made it to where it will search through any UDFs and this is actually not the right version of this um, there is another version I, I cloned this before I, I made that, that change um, there's another version of this that will go through and will check all U UDFs for the con for the contact. And if the username is in that UD in any of those UDFs, it'll go ahead and match it based off of that. Um, so then what we can do is on the new user form, we can have a, a workflow listener for whenever that completes to where it will go ahead and create that UDF for the user in Autotask. So every time you get a new user, if that's not the same format, You'll, you'll have a, a, back, a backup there to where you'll still be able to run this and it'll connect it to whatever contact it's supposed to go to.